Gamor has fallen. The war in Hut Space is over. We've begun shipping relief supplies to the local population. Fleet engineers are helping getting the capital's water treatment plants back online after they sustained some damage during the battle. General Coda has reported the outpost on Jabim has been established. Apparently, the local starport was under the control of a Black Sun operative. Our forces spent the better part of a week prying the local population out from under the boot of the warlord. The local militia, I'm told, was incredibly helpful. Crick's made Dean has given the Empire a black eye over Scipio. That system has become a sore spot for the Rebellion. Originally an operation base, the Empire hit Scipio just after killing the political leadership of Iridonia in a public execution, taking firm control of the entire set of Zabarak colonies in the region. As we understand it, the Iridonian colonies have become a source of manpower for the Empire's production chains, the Damati Corridor. His heart's in the right place, but Maydeen might be a little over keen. While his most recent raid against the shipyards of Jaeger Minor was technically a success, destroying over half their production in orbit, it wasn't without cost. After action report shows just how important it is for good intel, as well as knowing exactly when to order ships to drop out of hyperspace. I'm told they also managed to steal a new vessel for the fleet. A Venator class, no less. The Empire had scheduled its decommissioning, while the Alliance commands offered to scrap it for parts for the Liberation. My engineers believe that the Alliance underestimates just how customized and rebuilt the Liberation actually is. Most of those components are no longer compatible with our current setup. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod Awakening of the Rebellion, leading the Rebellion, hopefully, to victory. We've managed to secure the entire southern flank of the galaxy now. Last episode we took, where is it? Gamor! Leia led the charge on Gamor, and we actually, for the first time in a long time, had a, a number of air assets on the deck. Uh, we had Rogue Squadron there. We also had... Oh, did we not? I could have sworn we had another squadron of air units, but I don't see them in the list at the moment. So that's a little confusing. Yeah, I could have sworn there was like Z95s or something. Speaking of air squadrons, we were training a group of ground support. There it is, X-Wings. And we've got a few operatives. How How is corruption right now in our territory? Is this our freighter? Yeah, it's our freighter doing a little trading, making us some money. Uh, our income is actually pretty good. We're sending 12,000, and we've got a few of our operatives being trained up to send out our envoys to bring in a little bit more in the way of resources. Uh, interesting. Let's turn on all the things. The Black Sun have set themselves up over um, at Ziri, and in the north, it was the Empire was over Ord Mantell, but they've pulled their fleet back. I wonder if they failed to actually take the planet. And with us hitting Scipio and destroying the shipyard there, which they've already managed to rebuild the Tier 1, um, they may have moved to reinforce Jaeger Minor. I know there was an extra ISD, there was a Tector there during our raid on Jaeger Minor, and that we do have a fleet sitting along their border, so they may have moved over here. I should probably start digging in along the surface of Molinus, because there's a good chance... If the Empire takes Ord Montel again, or keeps the orbit free, they could hit us. I don't want that. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with how last week's episode turned out. I was feeling pretty good. Ooh, look at all the squadrons we've got. We're slowly building up. Now, we've been working on... We took Jabim in the last episode. We've been working on the idea... You got your outpost? You do have an outpost. Okay. Um... I might give you... An Infiltrator Academy. Or an intel center. Wouldn't mind having an intel center kind of along this border. Beginning let's, construction. Let's do, let's do an intel center. Now, wow, you guys have been digging in. I don't know if I want to fight that. That's a tier 2 space station. I know they're going to have more space stations than just that. Why don't I send... Yeah, we'll send Solo over to do some gambling. He was scouting out the Roche asteroid belt for us for a mission. Um. Okay, so... With the Falcon in region doing some scanning. Three Providence classes. Ugh. Three Providence classes means there's going to be a lot of fighter squadrons in the area. I mean, just look at that weapon list. Z95s, R41s, super fighter squadrons. Also, they've got a Venator. 
and the proper space station. But this is the space casino. Yeah. One artillery ship. What in the world is this? A core ship. Wait, a core ship? Like one of the giant ball ships from the Clone Wars era? I've never seen this. This requires IG-88. So they did finish the IG-88 research. Uh, if you're unaware, if you're new to these parts, uh, the newest version of Awakening the Rebellion has a system now where the Black Sun are actually like three factions in one, and you choose who your leader is. And when you choose your leader, it changes what you can build. So you could be focused on hut space. You could be focused on the droid revolution like they are right now. Very, very cool. Or proper like Black Sun and Xan Consortium and all that. All right. Oh, that liberations, that liberator's done as well. If we take the wheel, how do you not have a space station? If we take the wheel, construction complete. Hmm. Yeah, join up with this plate. Awaiting your orders. Jumping to light speed. We can get. We'll actually finish the quest, right? Pirate rescue. Some pirates have requested our assistance. Oh, I didn't even realize I had this mission. Um. Eddie Four, one of their leaders has been captured and is being tortured by our enemies. The pirates have come to us because they are unable to covertly rescue him. Conquer the planet to rescue the pirate leader. We'll receive a bunch of assault fighter squadrons. The support's what I actually care about, not really the of assault fighter squadrons. Uh, Eddie Four, where, where is Eddie Four? Watch it be like the Black Empire Sun territory. Their oh, their tech level has gone up. This is fine. What's your level space station? Wow, we're broke anyways. You have a large ground force training up on Kashyyyk. Uh, I know some of you are going to be like, Shek, it's right there. Oh, wow, we've got to deal with this corruption too. Well, we have the operatives for it. Let me get the operatives. Tech level. Cleared for departure. They have increased their tech level. Prepare for terrible things. Departure vector set. All right. They're all sent out. At your command. It's in the back, right? Oh, you know what? I bet you... I bet you it's somewhere dumb like Reporting. Corsac territory. Construction complete. That's why I didn't immediately. Yeah, that's why I didn't immediately recognize it. <sighs> yeah, about that. I wonder what the defense is there. So there's been a lot of talk about like, hey, go rescue Kyle Katarn. I'd have to start a war with Corsac and invade these four planets while I have the Empire pushing into Rebel space over here. And I'm not super down for that just yet. Oh, we need to move your space station over. Put you over there. There we go. I do need to pick up the new freighter tech as well. And I think I'm going to put it tech upgrade under back in the back line. Maybe not upgrade there, though. Canceled. Let's put it... Yeah, tech let's put it here. Because I want to get that sweet speed technology. I should also get the rest of the forces together. So, Mission Leia, you've upgraded. done wonderfully. We need to lock this down. We need a week to go by. What's up? Oh, we failed the pirate rescue. That's fine. Oh, I was coming in here for a reason. I wanted to see the buffer zone. It does require the wheel, right? That's the only thing we're missing? Yeah, we're only missing the wheel. At your command. Uh, well, we go by. We'll get a base of operations on um, a rebel camp on Gamor. That way we have some hope of defending it if it ever gets hit. Removing corruption. Probably turn it into a supply base, to be honest. Like, a lot of hut space is going to end up being supply Upgrade bases. Under construction. Let's get a little, little uh, upgrades going. Camino, you may not actually be worth training troops there anymore, Camino, because I now have the ability to train tier threes. You're just unable to do it. Reporting. Like Hoth. Hoth, give me more missile troops. Whew, they're expensive. Recruiting. Two groups of missile troops. Construction complete. Oh, good grief. Removing the Black Sun corruption. is not messing around with corruption right now. They're just spewing it everywhere. Complete. Okay, let's pick a planet to go after. Honestly, the Maw, it's a tough fight, but it might be worth it. Just to clear them out of here. This is also a research area, so maybe we'll get lucky and be able to knock out some of their space tech. The bonus for taking the Maw, unless they've changed it, is 10% cheaper technology due to the Maw. Yeah. Uh, all right, Rogue Squadron, mount up with the fleet. We're going to go give the enemy a bit of a poke while the rest of you hold tight here. Let's go see how bad the Maw actually is. Um... 
Actually, scratch that. I'll We're gonna go after Trandosia. Corruption has been removed. Freighter delivery, 600 credits. Nice. Frigate standing by. Corruption has been removed. They've all arrived at their Upgrade destinations. Complete. Wonderful. Let's go stop these fools from attacking. Actually, we'll swap out to this. Stop these fools from attacking General the Wookiees. Before you arrive, though. Before you arrive, I'd like to get some ships building. Wow. What's our nearest ship production? Rathana is like basically it. What? Okay, I have a question. Why is it that the bulk freighter, the upgraded carrier version, only has T-wings, Z-95s, and R-41s, but in the image, the thumbnail, there's a little Y-wing in the corner? <laughs> I just noticed it. We need to get some nebulons up here. Um, really, we just need some support ships. Unit in production. What you guys build now? Tactical battle imminent. Let's do this. Trandosians have been hunting the Wookies for too long. Time to deal with this. And You'll this, this fleet right here is getting a little bit on the weak side when it comes to support craft. Orders so. confirmed. Jan Dodonna, sir. All right, Dodonna. It's A your A-wings. I'm here. I'll handle that. Let's figure out how we want to handle this invasion. I'm actually quite looking forward to being able to build the, the advanced dreadnoughts. I still like this this idea of having an entire fleet that has the boost power to engines so they can swoop in, do a lot of damage, and then pull out of the fight. Could even have Dodonna, like, run that fleet. What else would be a good ship for that? Well, the, the Backer Destroyer, Rogue Squadron, just because the X-Wings can keep up, especially if they close their S-foils, and then any of the Corvettes can keep up. Uh, I believe even the Hammerhead gets the, uh, yeah, run blockade ability. So they got rid of the, okay, now you can just kind of brace this and take General less damage. Dodonna. Gave General that to the, the uh, Dreadlots. Out. Very, very cool. All right. Carrier Come Fleet. On. Rogue Squadron. I gotta be careful. We've seen them come through these asteroids and actually take damage. You know, we might be able to test that theory right here. As the Quasar launches its fighters. A-Wing, let's go. Let's get this over with. Let's bring in the other oh, two Quasars. Oh, we're already taking shots. We'll lead the alliance to victory. Whoops! Orders confirmed. All right, it's go time. Moving out, heading out, advancing. Protect the carriers. Wild wings engage. Come in behind them. We gotta protect oh, those carriers. The they will not be able to survive these hits. And the Dauntless comes out of hyperspace. Look at it. All right. Focus your fire. Control A. Look at all those torpedoes. Good. Good, good, good. Nice and quick battle. They fell back. We can focus on the proper, like, ground invasion. I wonder if those X-Wings are done. Maybe this might be the first world where we hit it really hard with air power. Yeah, I don't know what happened to those Z-95s. I don't think they were destroyed in that last fight. I hear you need my space station over. You've got four blockade runners? Huh. Eh. All right. And tranked. Uh, tracked. Tracked tanks. Let's load you up. And almost some tier three missile troops, which is good. Let's steal some credits. Whoa, what in the world? The Empire has moved in a like a large fleet right off of the border of Bothwa. Now, they might not be staging to attack us. They're probably staging, if they haven't already, which it kind of looks like they have. Look at this. 
um, to fight back the Black Sun, I, I would imagine. Funny enough, though, oh, we have nothing on the ground here. Oh, crap. Kamino, move whatever garrison you have over there as soon as possible. I'll even leave the X-Wings there for now. I was going to move those in. Um, debating on who to send over there. Yeah, let's gather our ground forces. Did you get your support base? Upgrade no, you're getting it now. Now for some profit. In route. Can we cause some problems there? Let's see. Can we get our assassin, our operative? See if the operative can just be a jerk. Transport Go over there and see if you can take here. out one of their heroes. That might be worth it if they end up attacking us. And we'll steal some um, we'll steal some money from Coruscant. Right away. How are you doing on ground? You're not training anybody. Really? Okay. Go for another X-Wing squadron. They take forever. This is the ground support ones. I'll also pick up a, uh, another set of artillery. Actually, one set of artillery and two, I get three air infantry transports. So what I'm thinking, neutralize hero, freighter. Yeah. I didn't even know we could kill freighters. That's awesome. That's cool. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't realize freighters were considered a, a hero unit, so they can be, like, sabotaged and destroyed. Oh, that space tech. That secret unit's down to four minutes. Everybody was talking about the secret unit. We're all pretty sure it's the uh, Arc Hammer, which I forgot existed. The last time I messed around with the Arc Hammer, I want to say was when we were playing as the Empire, and we fought it, or we, um, we were using it. Arc Hammer's kind of a cool ship. It's got a ton of drones, Thai drones in it. So you have all of these fighters, but it eats a big chunk of your fleet cap. So if you know what you're getting into, you can handle it. I'm not overly concerned by it. Just something to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, but I do love the idea of bringing a bunch of these air transports full of tier three infantry, right? So two platoons per, per transport. And then have their all tier three. So they'll have like long range missiles. They'll have their proper uh, suppression teams, their scouts. Uh, we mix all those in there, and we should be able to get some work done. Should be fun. All right. Leia. Princess Leia. Or General Organa. I don't know what we want to call her. Complete. Nebulon B frigate here. Let's prepare Reporting. for the invasion. Gamor, I'm going to give you a garrison post Taking there. Construction. Just in case. I'm just gonna borrow their what is this? credits. Sensor array. Keep track of hyperspace movement in a wide area. Oh, we'll be able to see enemy fleet movements. Yeah, do it. I'd love to keep an eye on what the um, the Empire is up to. Oh, oh, hello. Why? What are? What are you? Which one are you? Are you the capital ship one? Global space tech warships Mark II. You don't say. You, I, if I take that out, will that stop their ability to produce their major capital ship? Does it require all three techs? So that should be represented on the map as a space station. And if we destroy it, it will slow down the enemy's production. Um, I, can I get more of those sensor arrays? Beginning get a sensor array there, too. Um, I kind of like the idea of having... Having a sensor network like running the entire way up and down the hyperspace lane, so that'll give us like a ring around how far we can uh, we can see what's on these planets, which should be super useful for us. Uh, but yeah, that's an interesting one. So where where was that actually located? That was Eridus, huh? And they've got a Venator, our Victory class, excuse me. There, they've also got. The Imperial Advanced Fighter Dog. So it's a fighter dog. <sighs> and a mobile space station. And then a proper, like, garrison. It wouldn't be an easy strike. But if we brought a carrier fleet over there, we might be able to deal with that. That could be very much worth it. Oh, where did I put my training base? Oh, we have an officer down on lock. Come on, officer. Get up here. You should be helping us. Oh, good grief. Squadron reporting. You don't need to be sitting there. Join us for the ground received. invasion. Should probably also upgrade 
to the uh, the X3 station. Building That'll help us hold on to Kashyyyk. Now, if they would just... Oh, well, that's convenient. I was going to say, if they would just move that fleet, we'd be looking pretty good. How big... Oh, Mod Moth Mud, get back on the deck. You can load up those ground troops. What I need now is a strike force. Unit in production. Of fighters. And carriers, like the one I've got right here. Unit in production. I'm broke. Tactical battle imminent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The fleet from Scipio has decided to move in. What is that fleet? Interesting. Uh, yeah, those are TIE Interceptor Carriers, too. TIE Avenger Squadrons and six TIE Interceptors. Oh, this is the kind of fleet you'd see a player build. You know, super focused on the carriers and the TIE fighters that, uh, that aren't trash. That the Empire normally doesn't have very many of. And I'm not really saying Interceptor. I'm thinking more the TIE, the TIE Advanced. The Avenger, the fancy TIE Advanced that they try to sort of mass produce, but not really. I am a big fan of the Empire not having a lot of the advanced shielded ties. I think that it's very important in the Star Wars universe that the Empire always has a very stark difference between, you know, the Rebellion and the Empire. And them getting stuff like, you know, the TIE Avenger or the TIE Advanced in any kind of real numbers, it kind of ruins it. It kind of ruins the, the whole vibe of the Empire not giving a crap about its pilots and just wanting numbers. It's such a great, like, way of developing that faction as a character in and of itself, and to take that away from the Empire. I mean, I'm curious if you guys think the same way, but the, the idea that the Empire will just throw bodies at the wall, where the Rebellion is much more focused on, well, you know, it, <laughs> lives matter in the Rebellion, at least Copy that. Moving out. to a point. Let's move up. Let's move up. What is this random fleet assortment? Okay, you gave me an MC-30. You gave me two old school dreadnoughts, which isn't super useful. I'm gonna fight this. We're gonna go for extra shields, extra weaponry. That's two ISDs approaching. I don't think I can take the ISDs, but I think Upgrade. Yours is just shield overcharge, right? Yeah. Hold your position there. Why I think I can. Copy that. I think I can kill the carriers. All right, you guys need to group up. Upgrade. Order, Complete. sir. You guys are gonna be group here, one. Let's sir. go. Sir, our is it? sensors are down in this nebula. Yep, that's what we're looking for. What do you need, I'm sir? definitely operating on Order, the. Sir. If I can't see them, they can't see orders? me. Me Let's reorganize way. you guys. Come here. So I'm debating on doing a new community story RTS series. Every year we do two or three of these big campaigns. In the past, they've been like Stellaris or XCOM where members of the community end up putting their names into the jar. Uh, and, and we have these huge like, you know, stories where I do full intros and it's always a good time. But I don't know what game I want to do it in. I might go back to Stellaris. That could be fun. It's always neat to have the community as like every ship, every army, every you know platoon on the ground and tank commander, every space station, governor of a planet, every sector, moth or commander, depending on what kind of government we have, um, is named after a member of the community. And they even submit, a lot of people even submit backgrounds, which is very, very cool. Uh, and we'll try to incorporate those a little bit here and there, if it's possible. That's a bit harder to do. Uh, but I don't know what game to do. And I've been kind of debating it. Yeah, we are going to hold here. We are not going to engage. Roger. Apparently, one of them can shoot me at this range. Why are you damaged? Whoa. Oh, there, I bet you there's pirates here. Keep your eyes open for those fighters. Reporting in. Roger that. Stay away from them. Oh, there's the carriers. Activating weapons. Ow? What hits you? We're running blind in this Ready for command. 
A lot of ties coming this way. Form up. Calling for me, sir. I have a feeling this is Order not going to go the way I was hoping. Waiting orders. All right, we need to get out of the nebula. One problem with the nebula is you can't use your abilities in it, meaning we can't speed boost. This we can. We're going to have to punch through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the nebula. There you are. Good. Gun it, gun it, gun it. Gun it. Keep running, keep running. The fighters have engaged. Whoops. Oh, they're never going to make it. We're going to be behind them. Nah, I was hoping to get behind. Which we are going to get some damage in. It's just not going to be enough. Their formation is too good. They're actually covering each other. Yes, sir. Ready to fire. Underway. That's not fair. How Ready dare? <laughs> we are behind him now, though. That's kind of nice. Firing target. Moving into position. Wow, those bombers That's are gonna hurt. Commencing. We should be able to knock out those bombers pretty quickly. Here they come. Moving out. Switch your fire. Oh, we're about to get blown up. All right. We can't wait. We're gonna press. Now that we're behind them, look how long these blockade runners are surviving this fight. So we've just about got their shield down. Their shield is down. We are starting to do damage to the Ton Falk. Stay in range. Stay in range. Don't let that star... Star wing kill you. Just don't get too far to the port and starboard of those ISDs, which I think are too busy firing at the rest of the fleet. Switching your fire. Uh, well, the wing did pretty well. That fighter wing kept them busy long enough to kill at least one of the carriers. All right, Flate. Put your rounds into the carrier. So many fighters. Come on, come on. You know you're not going to be able to do any damage to those ISDs. Can you get those turbo lasers in range? Oh, he's moving too far forward. Come on, you've almost got him. Come on. He's going to detonate. He's going to detonate. Got him. All oh, units engage this ship. Get those shields down. You need to get in range. Oh, you fired those torpedoes at the wrong target. There you go. Fire at that target. Yeah, swing around. Go, Dauntless, go. With its ability kick that gives it more resistance. Go right between the two of them. Torpedoes are away. Does this have port and starboard torpedo tubes? It's four. It must have two and two. D, just fire those out of the port side. All right. Right side just fired. Start moving away. Let's see if we get the port side to fire now. Yep, port side just fired. So if I rotate it, let's see if we can get another shot. Ah, I fired, but it fired at like the ISD. Wow, what the crap? That's a lot of damage. I think we're, I think we're about doomed here, but. Get out of there, and you've got like just generally a ton of speed. It just kicked its shield on and it's red. Weird. Shield is still holding. Okay, kinda love the MC-30. It's got half the enemy fleet chasing it. Let's get out of here. Retreat. Seven second retreat timer. Oh, he might actually, I'm pretty sure he's one of the free units, but he might actually get away. Wait, one of the Marauders survived too? Eh, uh, yeah. At least I got three of the carriers, including the TIE Defender one. Look at that. They weren't all TIE Advanced. There was actually a TIE Defender group in there. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. There's two Tectors. We can take out those Tectors. I have, I have four MC-30s in this fleet. I must have gotten you from a mission that I don't remember doing. 
That sounds like me. So, on the continuing mission to annoy the Empire, I'm going to... Like a proper rebel. And we're gonna hit the tier one space station over Scipio again, just to cause them, like, cost them 10 grand in, in credits. Uh, their ground force is in orbit? <laughs> because I'm fairly certain that's a ground commander? <laughs> Prepare to get wrecked. Oh, awesome. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about doing a campaign in um, Total War. And I thought it would be really cool to do the Empire, right? Because the Empire has some very, like, political machinations, mechanics, where you take over other sub-factions sub of the Empire, and then I could literally put members of the community in charge of those, like, territories to help tell the story of how it, you know, how it all turns out. I thought that would be kind of a cool way of doing it. Very, um, you know, heavily edited to tell the story at the beginning. Um, of where we're at so far and what, like, kind of how we do oh, Awaken the Rebellion um, and the Empire at War series that we've done over the years. I don't know, just a thought. Let me know in your, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think that series could be cool if you're interested in it or not? Total War content is never done particularly well here on the channel. I think it's a little bit outside the normal wheelhouse. Very sci-fi focused over the last decade um, of content that I've made because my interest is normally sci-fi focused, but. We shall have to see. If you're into 40k, though, I highly recommend... Man, these things... This is a model that needs an upgrade. It doesn't do this ship justice. Like, the artwork for these bulk cruisers is actually quite cool looking. Particularly in the FFG RPG books. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Let's... Uh, let's bring Maydeen in so we can get the fleet bonus. Um, yours was what? Frigate bonus, right? Yeah, you're a frigate bonus in a fleet with five torpedo boat frigates that can go really, really fast. Uh, by. All right, hold position here. Star cruiser here. Cruiser here. Join up Setting with him. A course. Let's get our little raiding party together. So this doesn't have the bonus to engines, like the one that you kick off, the MC-30, but it doesn't need it because it's so... I think it's the fastest frigate. It may be the fastest frigate in the game. Time to think about it. Which kind of makes sense. Especially, like, just looking at it, like, it screams fastest ship in the fleet. Um, to the point where you might actually outrun at full acceleration X-Wings. I don't know. I don't know. Rebel 1 would be another one, but I don't really want to risk Rebel 1 in a fight. Um, uh, Blockade Runner. I actually don't know if you're able to keep up either. Fighter Wing, you guys are going to be Group 2. Go ahead and close those S-Foils for cruise position. Uh, and I will bring in two more. We're going to be lying on the torpedoes, the MC-30s. I'm really going to focus on interception ability. So all of you guys, you guys are going to be my group two. A-Wings, you guys are going to be my group three. Bolt Cruiser and Maydeen. Uh, just hold tight here. And let's see what kind of havoc we can cause. Before we move in, we should probably scout the enemy. I'll give you Dauntless too, since I'm really not worried about how fast you're moving, and Dauntless has great sensor range. Such a monster of a ship. Cruiser. Oh, AI never change. You couldn't see me until I came out of hyperspace. You, you cheats. You cheats. Let's get a support tender fleet. Uh, what's your guys' speed? Your speed is 300 on the gunships, and your speed is. It says 300, so gunships should be able to keep up. En route. And then X-Wings, your speed is 425, so you can keep up. You're fine. Roger. And then A-Wings is 600. But then when Star you compare 300 to by. something like the Bolt Cruiser at 2 or the Dauntless at... What's your speed? 175? Yeah, you're not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, Is it the Arquintons? No, oh, here it comes. My players recently fought at our acquaintance for the first time in space. They had one of their first big space battles. We've been playing that game, that Star Wars campaign, for proceed. literally years. Let's get ready to intercept. Ready for here they come. Let them, we'll kind of let them come at us, and then we'll run in. I copy. Reporting. X wings, let's go. Get them, X wings. Break and engage. I believe in you guys. I don't have any flak frigates, do I? Corvettes, no. All right, trying to cause some trouble. 
We're gonna move in quick and we're gonna destroy the support vessels. Group one, let's move. There's no reason for you to die, fall back. Oh, look at that. They got a galleon moving up. Galleon is the turret deployer. Oh boy, whole starboard side of torpedoes. Look at how fast these guys are. Like as frigates go, we're just gonna we're just gonna pass them. We're gonna pass them and we're gonna lob torpedoes at them. That's our grand plan. Don't stop. There's the torpedoes. They're away. I didn't even tell them to target anything specific. And then we're gonna pull away. You'll be fine. I'm not gonna send you actually into it. I just want you to pull away. Um, okay, that's less good. Let's target the... Are you kidding me? Now, if you're gonna have... If you're gonna have a tractor beam ability, it really needs to be something... Oh, it is. It is targetable. Okay. I was gonna say, I didn't think that was targetable. Which is super lame if it's not, because it means you don't have a chance to escape it. But now we do. We just need to move towards it. Oh, please. Retarget. Retarget. Okay, the torpedoes are away. Our escape should happen momentarily. In a moment of triumph? I really do want to get you guys out of there. Okay, you're free. Let's go. Let's move out. Everybody hard burn back to base. Ready for combat. And we're going to start moving forward. How you doing, Group 1? We're just lobbing missiles at everyone. I feel like you're taking more damage from the enemy. Fighters, yeah. Hard burn, let's go. Damn it. Yeah, they were taking torpedoes. Time to get the A wings on it. We're gonna pull away. Um, I don't know how effective that was, really. We ended up getting stuck in. Might be better off to just like get stuck in with the heavier ships. I'm gonna deploy your ability there. And then you need to turn around a little bit tighter. Let's come back around. Go for the shield generator. Because it seemed like the bombers on the NC-30 really did a number on them. Like, there was only one group of ties back there. It might have been the Golan platform. Who wins? Golan won with fighter support. Or a single Dauntless. Oh man, that looks freaking epic. Just pouring those shots into it. Wait for the broadside. It's super slow and it's not very effective at long range, but once it gets into range, like, hold your position right there. You're perfect. Waiting orders. Remove the shield generator. While we move in and start dropping Waiting missiles forward. at this thing. The rest of the fleet should be moving in. Hey, wings We've got enemy ties approaching. Get in there. I noticed that... Star Wars TIE Fighter has a, it finally has the full release of the fan rebuild in X-Wing, was it X-Wing Alliance? I think was the first game that they did it in. They did a, like a remake of it, fans did. You have to have the original game. I did a spotlight on it. Very, very cool. And now they've released a version for TIE Fighter. Like the whole campaign is there. Even some custom missions have been made for it too. I haven't played it yet because I haven't busted out my Hotas. Uh, because you have to have a Hotas for it. You can, I don't think you can play that game without it. Uh, I know the first one just didn't even have mouse keyboard support. Or mouse support, did have keyboard support. Yeah, that is cool. I might be down for that. I might have to bust that out. Get the, um, the head tracker too. I'm told it works in VR as well, but I'm I'm not sure if I want to break out the entire VR kit. Squadron I did reporting. lose one of the MC-30s. Uh, oh man, I would like to actually complete. invade this planet. But ground forces are 
a bit thinned out. You know what? I'm going to leave an officer here. We're going to move this entire ground force. This is our new northern border force. Uh, you know, before I move... You stick with them. Squadron reporting. Ground troops move. Take the long route. We're taking back Scipio. I need to destroy this fleet. We'll leave a ship here. See to it that they don't move anybody through. Main fleets. Uh, who do I want to put in charge? Reporting. I'll put one of the MCs. They're, they're pretty quick. And they've got decent sensors. So let's go. Reporting. Squadron reporting. Let's go. We got to kill this fleet. Before their ground Tactical forces land. Imminent. Because look at it, They moved them. They have an IDT. They have the, uh, the fancy gunships. They have the fancy gunships. Hmm. Hmm. I was thinking about it. I don't know if it would be balanced. Because I know the rebels already have troop transports. And they already have the U-Wing as like an a air ground support vehicle. Is the U-Wing the rebel version of the last? What's the what how large of a squad or squad? How many squads can a lat hold? It can only hold one, right? But you could really pack pack clone troopers into a lat. Hmm. Because right now you can't put troops in a U-Wing. Is there a place in the Rebel lineup, in Awakening of the Rebellion, to have the U-Wing as an actual troop transport? Now, I've got, two, I've got two thoughts about this. I'm thinking, if you're moving a full platoon, right? No, it doesn't make sense to use, unless you're going to use, like, a whole wing of them. But, if you're using them for an infiltration unit... I, that, I could see that being a thing you could build. Is that you make a U-Wing that is there to help. It's one of the few vehicles that you use as an infiltrator unit. So that you can move around a little bit more. Because a lot of the problems right now, I think, with the raids is a lack of mobility. You just get bogged down and you die. That's one of the reasons why you don't see me do a lot of raids. Because eventually, you're just going to get... Unless you really know the maps and you know that you can kind of exploit the map a little bit. You're just going to get bogged down by these huge garrisons that all the planets have, and you're going to die. But if you could actually move around a little bit more, if you had some, like, light vehicles, I think this is going to be a straight-up brawl. Like, bring in this gorgeous ship, dropping out of hyperspace, get in between these two ISDs, they're tectors, so they're going to have the advantage at the start. Um, that's why we're going to start this fight like this. B-Wing squadrons coming in, gunships, A-Wings, we're going to break through the line, X-Wings, we're going to do the damage, and then the Dauntless is going to come in and mop up and delete them. The enemy is approaching. Okay, where are they at? And we're going to do MCs in the rear, and we're going to shoot right past them. I'm hoping I'm out of firing range to the point where they're not effective. All right, X-Wings, go. Yes, sir. X wings. Squadron, move out. Going for the engines. Trigger you guys responding. break through to the other side. You've got to get through, or it doesn't matter. Wasn't there four of you? Watch your fire on the shield generator. Get through. You got to get through. Coming All right, let's bring the actual fleet in now. We're going in. Here we go. Close range fleet versus Tectors. Tectors are long range. Uh, I think we can bring in these. Alright, B-Wings. Oh, Dauntless. You need to go right through the middle of them. Can I get that? Oh, I can't get that angle. But behind them works too. Behind them works too. Same here. You go in from behind. Alright, bring in R-41s. We're behind. I feel like I can bring in some blockade runners, and now we're in this fight. Target eliminated. Oh, Dauntless. You glorious, glorious ship. Alright, give them everything you've got. Let's stick together, though. 
Don't break off. Look at that broadside capability. So we're behind one of the Tectors, meaning they can't really shoot us. His DPS has been completely neutralized. We're now, oh, I don't think there is a, a blocking mechanic, right, where, where ships can block damage from you in this, but how good would it be if I actually was able to maneuver behind this ISD and it couldn't fire? But I don't know if line of sight is a thing. I mean, it might be. It looked like he actually stopped firing there for a second. Nah, nah, I can't. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Remove the shield generator. Okay, B wings. Um, go make your run on the heavy turbo lasers. R forty ones. You guys are doing great. All right, switch fire to the engines. We've destroyed one of the ISDs. I believe we can kill both of them. Good hits. Good hits. Other engines down. Everybody fire. Come on, one second. Come on. Two. Got it. One carrier made it out. Oh, man. It's so funny how the inclusion of that little green line that tells you what course a ship has plotted. Remember, that's not in the vanilla game. And that was a huge increase in the tactics you can pull off because at least you know what your ship's going to do. In base game, you give that order to go somewhere and you really have no idea what your ship is going to actually do when it comes to capital ships. Ah, oh, it's so funny to me. I sometimes I forget. I wanted to remind everybody of that mechanic. That doesn't exist in the base game. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. So we have ground forces that are on the way. We have eliminated the the probing fleet. It's not their big fleet. Oh, their big ball has returned. Look at all the T. Look at all the T sixteens. Why are they so invested in Skyhoppers? Huh. Huh. Okay. I, we're not, we're not going to be able to hit the wheel. I don't think it can be done yet. Like, it can be done. I don't think it's the right choice, though. I think the better choice is to send... Proceeding. Leia... Moving to destination. Squadron, move out. We're gonna send Leia out. Nebulon B frigate here. I'm gonna collect a bunch of ships. We need to move quickly on this one. We're heading out. And we're gonna hit. Squadron reporting. Oh, is it Eridus, right? Yes. But I'm not gonna build up there because a lot of times there's the fleet. I'll handle that. If you put a fleet near where you're about to strike, you're basically giving away where you're gonna hit. And the the AI has a habit of knowing what you're going to do. Tech level advanced. New options All right. Available. All right. You guys should land. You guys should not sit there. Let's go. Mission log updated. Location the goal number. here is to delay Order their reporting. construction of their space tech. What happened? You want me to build a defensive structure, huh? A militia commando platoon. Militia commando platoon. What is a militia commando platoon? It, militia is normally the free units you get on the deck on, on uh, various planets. Uh, you want a shutter shield? Yeah, I can build a shutter shield. I don't know where I'm gonna build a shutter shield. Kashyyyk should already have full shields, right? You don't have any shields on Kashyyyk. All right, shutter shield it is. Let's keep him from bombing running us. Oh, wow, that's like super key. Yeah, cancel all of that. Constructing unit. Kashyyyk should do nothing but train Wookies and tracked armor unit. for us. Constructing units. <laughs> Maybe infantry. With gunner platoons and spec force platoons and all that. Vader's back and he's at Manan. Please stay where you're at, Vader. Please don't go anywhere. I'm not ready for this. I just want to raid. I just want to raid your space station Tactical research battle. capability. Imminent. Excuse me, what? Crap. Crap baskets. Crap baskets. Not good. Oh, man. If you guys had even the simplest... I always say don't bother putting ships in escort, right? Because you you can use those ships in your actual fleets and they should always be like backed up by another fleet somewhere nearby and just keep your ground troops and your space troops separate. But in this instance, I really wish I had like... Ugh. Even a Venator, even the new Venator would be useful in this instance. 
Or I could, I might be able to pull out a win here if I had bombers. Just like a couple of X-Wings and a couple of Y-Wings. Yeah, probably not. I'd need something a bit stronger than that. All right, well, let's get in. Let's retreat. Prepare for the raiding party. Space raid, taking out research because they're a minute off on, uh, you know what? They might actually get the research done because this battle's now been a thing. We're gonna fast forward. The ISD is on the move. I'm gonna have all Giving ships fall already? back. Ready? What do you see? Yeah, the rogue shadow. Yes, you do. Retreat. Preparing for jump to light speed. Get us out of here. The enemy has been spotted. Bye. Okay, they've got one minute. One minute on the research. The fleet is almost here. What is that? Uh, there is something on the way. We need to move quickly. We need to move quickly. General I don't know what this Donna, is. Are we going to beat it? Fader's over here still, so we're okay. We're okay. That, that can't. That's probably just a freighter. Complete. And I think we're still going to beat it anyways, whatever it is. Vader's on the move. Tactical battle imminent. Yeah, it was a, it was a freighter. That's all. But Vader did end up leaving. It looked like he went toward Onderon. I hope they're not going to hit Kashyyyk. I never built an ion cannon there because I never planned on defending it on the ground. All right, let's do it. Here's the raid. Again, we're just here to destroy a space station. I don't know if it's going to stop their actual research. I don't remember what the requirements are for building stuff like the arc hammer. And I have no idea what tech they're going for. It could be capital ship tech, in which case, yeah, this might actually I'm stop here. them. Dodana here. Uh, it's one A-wing. Where's your other one? This is General Dodana. Oh, there. Uh, shift click to get rid of something that's in your selection. And then, of course, Heading you can out. use control groups. Engage your engines. Why are you guys both taking so long? Oh, because you're wanting to fly together. Let's go. We need to locate the enemy research station, which if I was a betting man, it would be right here because it's weirdly circular and that's a mobile dry dock. Choose your reinforcements. Um, anything that we're going to bring in has to be fighters. Moving so let's do this. Vectors set. Gunship, gunship, U-wing, and all of the Y-wings. I want to delete their existence with Y-wings in one's rogue squadron. G-95s. Cloak shapes. Let's go. Form up. You guys are going to be group one. Orders. I want you to move in. Dodana Let me get all in. of the in ones. You guys are going to be my group two. Copy. Closing Cycle on back. Enemy. We're too far away. Let's go. We're leaving. Except profit. for you guys. Kill that. Um, ha, Ace. Here's the character you play in that, um, that game I was talking about earlier. And we'll bring in the Liberation just to kind of cover Liberation the rest of the carrier fleet. Charged. Now, we know the ISDs are on the way. We do not want to fight that. Let's go. Don't chase him. Don't chase him. We're here on a mission. The Reporting. fleet is making its way through the asteroid field. Look all the X-Wings up there. Keep meeting to figure out how to install that extra mod that gets rid of the debuff icons. Because they really take you out of the fight. Reporting. Starting my run. All right. Take down those Is that the space station? Yes, that's the global space tech. Let's go, Y-Wings. Let's go. Yes, sir. We're going to knock out the shields oh. first, and then I'll pull back the X-Wings. All the Y-Wings on both sides. Apparently, we destroyed a mining facility. Give them a hand. And let's get these carriers near each other. And you, get over here with the rest of the fleet. We have an ISD starting to approach. We need to kill this quick. We gotta go, guys. We need to go. I don't know what a... Oh, the supplemental drop, yeah. We get it? We got it. Well done. Reporting. 
Help them. Liberation reporting. Am I am I really gonna do this? I can kill that car. I can kill that Carrick. Hit him with the spat. Oh balls! Here comes that Tector. I really should just leave. I mean, part of me wants to fight it because we have the entire like wing of fighters on the way. And we could just annihilate it, but look at all the enemy bomb. Oh, there's too many bombers. We gotta go. Incoming brace! Oh, we're jamming! I happen to just build this nebula and it's jamming all the bombers that are coming through to hit the <laughs> hit the liberation. Get out of there! Mission accomplished. No reason to risk it. While we could have killed that Star Destroyer, if the engines were damaged on the liberation, we would have been stuck in that fight. We'd have to fight the whole thing. Now, that's all I wanted to do. Let's see if it made any difference to the research. Construction complete. Uh, it didn't. It actually didn't affect it. Space tech will be done in 56 seconds. And... Oh, no. That's not good. In 14 minutes, the Empire will have the Bellador. And if you know what that is... Yep. Yep. Oh, hey, our sensor network is online, though. We can see all the way out to Fondor. We can actually see what they've got. They got a Doom Ball. I kind of want to attack this just to see the Doom Ball. The core ship. If I'm right, the core ship are those gigantic ships that we see in the movie that are like half buried in the ground. That's that's quite cool. I assume they're from kind of fleet tender, right? It could detach from the outer ring of a Lucre Hulk to land on planets. Some are still in service and hidden on old CIS strongholds. Outpost station. It's an outpost station. Class space station, weird. And it's just like extra fighters. Oh, it gives them pop cap. That's what it does. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, everyone. I look forward to reading your comments on this week's episode. What the plan is next and the Bellator is being constructed. I would imagine it quad. A kuat, as people like to correct me in chat. All right. Bye, everybody.